enough? Yeah. I think so too. Okay, let's have the last one. That's it. And this one, come. Let's level this one out. Rub it all over here. Yeah. It's nice and level. This one as well. Very good, very good. That's it, all well done. Okay, so I'm with Andrew at the moment. He's doing a bit of mixture right at the, at the moment. Uh, do you want to explain what you're, what you're up to at the moment? Yes, so we're preparing the compost, getting it nice and fine, mm -hmm. so we can um, fill the um, trays, ready um, for the um, ladies over there to do the seeding. I see. And we've got Alex here helping us out. Doing a very good job. Very That's good, Alex. It. Well done. Yeah. Nice and fine, yes? Very good. Yeah, this one. There you go. Good job. All in. And I'm not even counting. Okay, so I'm with the Moy at the moment, and um, we've just finished doing, looking at Andrew do the compost, and right now we're just seeing a bit of activity here. Do you want to explain what you're doing here, Amoy? Hi, so we're just seeding up um, red onions. Right. So we've got, we're putting one seed in each cell. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. There's not much to it. <laughs> just straight to the point, right? <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So how much are you putting in each um, pot or each hole? Just one. One per pole? pole? One per hole? Yes. One per cell, yeah. Excellent. Where did I get onion seeds from? Onion seeds? Yeah. yeah. yeah like harvest onion seeds. You have to wait for the onion to go to flower. And then when oh. it goes to the flower, then you take the seeds. Yeah, seeds in it has to bolt, and then when it bolts, the flower comes, and then you can harvest the seed from the flower. Mm. It's pretty much like that for all plants. Yeah. So. When we take this out, obviously it's going to have the four or five or six yeah. in there. Mm. And then when we put that in the ground, yeah. it will grow as a bunch. Okay. Yeah, so when it comes to harvesting, so instead of like one, it. two, three, four, it's they're going to be one bunch, you just pull them out of the ground mm. and right. eat them. <laughs> or whatever. So that's why we do it that way. Yeah. yeah. The only really spare areas are going to be uh, walkways and God willing, um, there are some extra areas, but Mish wants to do um, flowers. Oh. Yeah, so I guess those extra areas would have the flowers in. But yeah, all of the beds will be used.
five or six. Five or six in each. Yeah, but you don't. You, obviously, you don't need to count. It's just a, a sort of a. Yeah. Once you kind of got that kind of sprinkle thing going in. Okay. Yeah. How many trays are those you expecting to do? Uh. Yeah. Ten. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Will we get ten out of this one? Oh, actually. No, you won't. You know. um, actually. Okay, so this is Lily Sullivan and she's just going to explain some of the things that she's growing. Do you know what you're growing on, on this side over here? Do you know what you're growing on this side over here? So, can you let us know what you're growing? Um, I'm growing mm -hmm. these. And what, what are they? Um, Oh, I think they show it over here, right? Yes. Yeah, it shows a plum. It's got, you see the little stick? Mm -hmm. It says beetroot. I want oh, okay, so you're growing beetroots? Yes. And what's, your, what's the favourite thing that you've liked, that you've grown so far? Um, I like carrots. Carrots? And beetroots. Nice, very nice. It's good for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And I love, um, I love Apples. Oh, I love everything. You love everything? <laughs> so you think you can eat everything? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I see I can just eat. Even oh, wow. Mud. Oh, even mud? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, that's probably not the best thing to eat, but... Because, <laughs> so I is only ate mud, I can eat mud too. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if we can just stick to veg here. Yeah? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Okay, so I'm with um, Michelle Sullivan. Um, she's going to explain some of the things that she's growing. And um, seems to be quite a busy one going at the moment. So, you want to let us know what you're growing over here? Yeah, sure. Thank okay, you. Well, we have over here, all of these here, these are all beets. Beet right. Beetroot. You can see this is beet, 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 beet. Lots of beets. What's this one? Oh, this is rainbow chard. Oh, so we do have to try it. So, this is rainbow chard. This is Swiss chard, Swiss chard, um, or rainbow chard, right. beetroot. This one, we had collards. Now, we started actually growing these inside, and you can see that they're really leggy. Um, but we didn't want to get rid of them. We thought we'd just bring them outside and let them carry on and see what happens. We're thinking perhaps of um, potting this up, probably up to about here so that it can form some new roots and it may do it may form some more roots here um, but these are way too long they should be short like this right yeah so here we have um more swiss chard salanova which is a type of lettuce now they don't really like it too hot and it's actually about 30 degrees in here so All we right. may have to move these to the bottom of the tunnel where it's a bit cooler yeah because our ground is on a incline or decline yeah, it's and a decline, so yeah. Rises. So the hot air rises, so it's warmer up here. Right. So we're actually thinking about moving the lettuce down to the bottom. I see. Okay. So is there a certain temperature that needs to be at, or is it just a cooler lettuce, temperature? Just a cooler temperature, yeah, probably. I can't remember what the temperature is. Maybe about 15. 15. It's probably about half of what's up here, because this is about 30 up here. So we have, um, let's see. Broccoli here again. These ones were started inside. We lost some. All oh, right. Because then we put it outside, and the cold got to it before we had the tunnel up. Oh, okay. You see, so but they're still. So we didn't want to throw them away. We just left them here. And we thought, well, let's see which ones come up strong. Mm -hmm. Kale. This is black kale. 
This is Salanova Green. They're just coming through now. All oh, right. Um, Salanova Green. That's a type of lettuce that will make up uh, a salad mix. Where? Right. Yeah. Um, this one's lost its stick, but I think this is kale. Um, this one, what have we got here? This is Salanova Green. You can see it's been written by Anea. She seeded these ones. Let's see if we can zoom into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you can there. see. Just trying to zoom. Yeah. Have you got it? No, I don't think it's coming. I will take you guys for it. Yeah. So, collard greens in here. We had to really hunt for these seeds Work. because um, you get greens in Tesco's and places like that. And we were like, what kind of greens is it that they're selling? Yeah. And so we figured, well, collard greens, it's, it's likely to be collard greens. And we had to hunt high and low and then we found some collard greens seeds because it's more common in America. We don't really get collard greens here so much. Right. But we found the seeds, thankfully, and we've got quite a bit of collards growing. Um, we have broccoli, cabbage and collards here. And over there, we have salmon over green. They're just coming up. And it looks like we have a stray collard or broccoli seed that got in there. Maybe the children probably oh, right. the children probably <laughs> seeded these. It's snuck in there, right? And it got in there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and then over here we have salmon over green again. They're just coming through. Can you see? Yeah. It's like lettuce again. And there we have broccoli. That's an organic um, broccoli. Salon over red, but, and then I think a broccoli got in there too. Okay. <laughs> so broccoli. see these? There's quite a bit of yes. Plants there. Is there any, a reason for that? There's a story behind this. <laughs> I told the children that were helping me seed only to put one seed in each pod, and um, oh. the seeds were pretty small, and they got tired and just threw them in. Oh dear. And um, <laughs> so there's going to be a huge broccoli. Yeah. In that little so patch. we're going to we're, we're actually going to prick these out, right. which means that we'll take this cluster out of the pod pull them apart and put them in their own little space oh, spots. Okay. because they actually look quite healthy mm -hmm. but you can see these ones started coming through too early and it was too cold this is what happened when the cold got to them but again we've left them because we wanted to see which of the strong ones would come up right so um okay we have kale green kale blue um this one's lost its tag but let's see I can't really quite make it out. I think this is kale as well. There. And then this is more kale. And here we have more kale. We've got oh, a wow. lot of kale. Yeah. <laughs> Cabbage. Kale again. Because I think we're having a whole bed of kale, but I can't remember how many kale plants we anticipate putting in one bed. Right. Or maybe we're gonna have two beds by the looks of the amount of kale that we have here. Um, more collards. These ones are looking really good. This is what they should really look like. Okay, yeah, they look yeah. pretty springy. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. compared to this. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Can you can even see the yellow. Yeah, these ones have yeah, died. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause as I said, these ones were started inside and they right. came up way too quick, way too leggy. And then when we put them out, the cold got to them, so. Oh, right. But you see some of them have not some done too bad. Some of them made it still, so, yeah. Yeah, this one's not doing too bad. Um, these are all Chinese mustard. These are going to go with the Salanova and with the Red Russian Kale, which mm -hmm. will be harvested as a baby leaf, and with spinach to make a salad mix. Right. So we have cabbage and broccoli there, collards and cabbage there, more collards, and all of these are spinach. This is all spinach. Right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 828 spinach plants here. Right. And then we have, which our friends have just seeded for us. This is um, spring onions, Ishikura spring onions. Oh, spring onions. Yeah, and these ones have been, the seeds have been put in five seeds at a time. Okay, so five seeds in one? In one pod, yeah. Okay. So that when they grow and we harvest them, mm -hmm. we, we pull them out as a bunch. Right. So that's that part of the job done for us. Oh, good. <laughs> and then, did you do down there already? Oh, no, we haven't done those, no. Okay. Down here, we have red Russian kale. These are, this, this is what's going to go in the um, salad mix. Okay. And more mustard greens, red Russian kale, more red Russian kale. I think we have 
828 red Russian tail and 828 mustard green. And these are more mustard green down here. And you might want to take a look at the temperature inside the tunnel. I think it's 13 degrees outside temperature. 13? 13, and that's the temperature right. inside the tunnel. So we can see that it is about 32. Yeah, 32. Wow. So what we plan to do is get another thermometer and place it at the bottom of the tunnel to see what the difference is. Yeah. But eventually this will become the tomato, aubergine and pepper tunnel. And clearly it's warm enough for that. Right, yeah. So, in yes. fact, we may have to, in the summer, because obviously this isn't even summer yet, this is just spring. Right. So we'll be able to lift the sides of the tunnel up to mm -hmm. get some circulation and some air in here. I see. To try and cool the tunnel down a bit and just try and, um, you know, fend off, um, you know, diseases that could manifest if it's too hot and Yeah, humid. or congested or... Yeah, so yeah. just to allow the circulation of air helps to keep fungus and things like that mm -hmm. to a minimum. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. No problem. Cheers. Well, it's cooler down here, but it's 32 degrees. Mm -hmm. So up there it's probably about 36 degrees. You know? that's, that's very hot, wow. which is good. You know? um, but is there any specific reason or is it just because of the, the sun? Well, what we notice, not just the sun, but this tunnel is on a, it's not on a flat surface. I it's see. actually on an incline and because hot air rises, right. so at the top of the tunnel it's going to be even hotter. But we wanted to have an idea of how hot it's getting throughout the whole tunnel. Right. That's why we thought we'll put the thermometer here and then just keep an eye on it. Um, but as you can see it's 32 degrees. That's hot enough to do tomatoes. All right. You know. And these are tomatoes right here, are they? No. Okay. <laughs> these, are, these are just mustard greens. Okay, I see. Yeah, it. just mustard greens. And how long do you think they normally take um, to grow in this temperature? Yeah, mustard greens, I don't know. Because this is the first time we're doing mustard greens, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think it's about 45, 50 days or something like that. Right. Um, there's nothing that we're growing that's more than 60 or so days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's quite quick. You know? So there's a lot of things that we could grow, but because they take so long, um, we're not going to do that. We're just growing things that are um, relatively fast. Right, right. Grow. You know. so, uh, oh, yeah. See how we go then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the idea? This thing, um, what's it called? From Mickey Light. Yeah. So is this one? <laughs> blocking you. So if I add for it, um, from Mickey Light, improves your drainage. <laughs> <laughs> drainage, eh? <laughs> you think we're putting the wrong thing in the, in the Make soil sure then? I don't do any voice over it. I'm a Mikulite. So you're going there. Sell the product. So we're selling it. Okay. <laughs> to do the um, face as well. Yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> I'll definitely be buying that. <laughs> exactly. What are you doing there? Okay, so I'm with Caleb, um, the son of Robert and Michelle Sullivan. Now, I would like you to tell us what you enjoy planting the most, what you enjoy eating the most, and what you're currently planting. Or is that um, too much to remember? Probably <laughs> carrots. Carrots? Yeah. Okay. What do you like about the carrots? Okay. Do they taste good as well? Yeah. Okay. They and you... taste kind of sweet. They're kind of sweet? Yeah. Okay. So what other things do you like planting? Um... Or do you, are you currently planting anything? Yeah. Okay, what are you planting? Um... Courgette. Courgettes. Are those sweet as well? No. Right. <laughs> um, beetroots. Beetroots. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing how they grow. So, mm -hmm. we've seen how they've been planted and can't wait to see them. Yep. Yep. Good stuff.
because he measured in the field. Yeah, what we need to do mm -hmm. is, um, remember I was saying that all these areas are going to be put into plots. Right, yeah. We have about five plots going down here, 30 metres length, 10 metres width. So I'm just measuring these out now. Yeah. I can get a rough idea. We're looking at So what they're doing at the moment is they're measuring um, the ground so that they have each plot for um, certain reasons for growing certain things. Yeah, so um, yeah, so we'll probably this will be the strawberry patch here. And then we'll probably get another plot next to it, um, another full plot, and then maybe another two smaller plots just um, further along. Because the shape of this this land, you know, most land is sort of square, but this land is actually triangle in shape, and our plots are square, so everything is at odd angles. Anyway. But once those are in, the other thing that we'll have to do is to do the irrigation, do the watering, mm -hmm. of which um, we plan to have um, a few bits of drip irrigation, not a lot, only a few bits of drip, but the majority of it will be overhead sprinklers, you know, so um, I need to order the sprinklers and get those in. So what we'll do, we'll have everything set on a timer so that, you know, five, six in the morning, that will just come on and just water the whole, well it will water different plots you know for like an hour or whatever switch off and then in the evening it will come on again and then um, switch off So this is how the tunnel looks um, from the outside. We've just been inside a little while talking to the Sullivan family just to get some insight on what they're growing. And um, they mentioned that once all of this has been, I mean, sorry, this will all be raised up when it's summer. Um, they did mention that in the inside, it can be quite hot. It goes up to about 38 degrees. And um, you can see that they mentioned that it had like a, uh, a decline. So obviously the that part over there would be um, more chilled um, this part here would be obviously hotter but once the summer comes out then everything gets lifted up and um, fresh air fresh sun and more growing that, that's the whole well that's what we're hoping for anyway <laughs> no, no, that's, that's you know if somebody looks at it and they think it's boring it wasn't for them <laughs> <laughs> It's true. We can move on to another channel on YouTube. Yep, yep. So next. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, oh look like at Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you having fun, sister and wife? <laughs> yeah, I can. You look very miserable. No, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, it's really good though. Okay. Alright, guys. Robert, what's next? Slowing me down. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna come out here and just finish up. It's very nice. If everybody's good, they'll get the thing. Okay, Lily. We're gonna finish the video now. So say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Look at my teeth. Very bright teeth. Very good. Right, let me just end it here. Say bye to everybody. Okay everybody, so we have just gone to the Sullivan's place, we did a lot of planting, a lot of experience, hands-on approach and such, which has been a very big blessing, so I will see you all very soon, I pray that you've been blessed from this. If you have any questions, any comments, leave it in the description box below, or what you could do is you can go to um, the Sullivan's uh, YouTube channel, um, that channel is going to be in the description box below. But for now, God bless and I will see you all very soon, bye for now. Say bye everyone. Bye bye. Good, good. Take care.